So 2023 is right around the corner, and this is usually the time of year where people want to start their own business. Of course, you've seen it before. People want to start eating healthy. They want to start going to the gym. They want to lose some weight in the beginning of the new year because they build up all of these New Year's resolutions that they want to start. But one of the most common ones, just like all of those, is starting their own business. Usually what drives this is they want to start making money outside of their nine to five. They're going to their nine to five every single day. They're making the same amount of money, and usually people want to make a little bit more going into that new year and maybe start to branch off and do something a little bit different. Now, of course, it's a great starting point to start at the beginning of the year, but there's an old saying where the best time to plant a tree was yesterday and the second best time is today. But a lot of people wait and they feel like a clean slate into the new year is a great time to do whatever objective that they wanna do. So usually people start looking into business models that consist of a lot of business types of things. Now you might ask, what do I mean by business types of things, right? What I mean by that is the basic typical business requirements that you're going to need when you first start out in business. So things like inventory, overhead, uh, big cash investments, hiring out people, all of those things which are actually pretty hard to do unless you know what you're doing in business. And usually when you have a New Year's resolution to start a business, you've never ran a business before or you weren't very successful with any other business in the past. So if you're starting a business and you start to hire out people and you start to invest a bunch of cash into inventory or you start to get a ma and pa uh, brick and mortar shop in a place where you have a rent, where you have a little bit of overhead to actually pay for, and this is all before you actually start making money in your business, you're likely going to set yourself up for failure and ultimately you're probably going to fail at the business completely. Now that's not to say that everyone will. Of course, there is a lot of success stories out there where people invest a bunch of money, they invest a bunch of time, they figured out the theory behind the business that they wanna run and they are successful. But in most cases, usually you need that proof of concept first and you need to make sure that you are going to be bringing in money without just the theory that you are going to sell the product that you have or you're going to make money on the service that you're providing. So you might ask, how do you get into the realm of business without having to invest a bunch of money, without having to hire out people to do the work, without having a bunch of overhead that you have to worry about, and ultimately set yourself up to actually succeed with the business. And in this video, I wanted to show you the one option that I have found to have the most success with a business model. So my best recommendation when you first start out into business is to start a service-based business. So what a service-based business is, is basically providing a service for people or for business owners or anyone that's willing to trade that their money for your time and for your service. And quite honestly, service-based businesses can be anything. Let me give you a few examples. Detail selling cars, you know, washing cars and providing a service doing that. You have the personal trainers of the world, which teach you how to work out, show you guidelines and basically help you get in shape. You got makeup artists, hairstylists, barbers, you have graphic designers, you have media agencies, you have people that create TikToks for your business. There are various ways to start a service-based business. There's so many different services that you can provide to people to actually make some money for it. But my absolute favorite business model to start when you are a complete beginner, you don't know anything about business, and you never started a business before and you want to start something that actually is successful, that is windshield repair. Why do I say it's my favorite? It's because it's what I did. It's what got me out of my job. It's what brought me a lot of freedom. It's what brought me more money and ultimately better quality of life. But aside from what I do, what makes service-based businesses so great is that you usually don't need a lot of upfront investment to start out. And sure, you might need some things to start out, right? You might need to buy materials. You might need to buy marketing materials. You might need to buy tools, whatever the case but essentially the risk that you're putting up to start out is very, very minimal. And with the service-based business, since you're not investing a bunch of money up front, a lot of the profits is gonna go into your pocket. This is usually because you're doing all the work, you're putting in all the time, and you don't really have any other employees or people that are helping you out. Ultimately, the risk you hold is almost nothing other than the time that you're putting into it and the small investment that you have on the table. But I wanna be completely honest with you. Business is not easy. Whether it's a service-based business, whether it's a brick and mortar business or a traditional business, business is not easy. We may think starting a business is the ultimate dream life. You know, we have the freedom, we can create our own schedule, we can write our own paycheck, we don't have to report to a boss. In theory, it does sound like a dream and it sounds great, but essentially when you actually start getting into business, it is a lot more of a headache than a lot of people think. But you have to choose your heart sometimes. If you think going to a nine to five and being told what to do every single day is hard, then you might not think that working 12 hour days, 
for your own business is very hard. Or you can be on the opposite side of the spectrum and think that going to work to your nine to five is much easier and less stressful than working a 12 hour day, not knowing where your next paycheck is gonna come from, and just worrying about business things in general. Unless you truly have the stomach for what business has to throw at you, then maybe working a nine to five is probably a better option. But without sacrifice, there is no reward. So if you can withstand all of the business problems that you're going to run into, starting a business is honestly 110% worth it. Of course, that's considering that you want the freedom, you want the money, and you wanna be able to kind of control your life. But I don't wanna scare anyone away from business. I love business. I honestly think it's a game. It's a game that I love playing and it kind of turns into a lot of fun when you actually start making money and you start having success with business. My goal here is to just be transparent with what you should expect when you first start out in business, whether it's a regular type of business or the easy route, which is a service-based business. I actually shouldn't say easy, I just think it's a lot easier. So to kind of give you an example, when I first started my business, I actually funded the whole entire business on a credit card. I'm not gonna say that is the smart thing to do, I'm not gonna say you should do that, but I didn't have very many options. I was broke, I was working a nine to five, and I was kind of living paycheck to paycheck. So my only option was to fund it on a credit card, but the only reason I did that was because I knew I could pay it back. The reason I knew I could pay it back was because I knew the business that I was starting. I knew that I can make my money back fairly quickly with a windshield repair business. So to kind of give you an example, basically if you were to invest $1,000 into a windshield repair business, for example, you can work sort of backwards and figure out how you can get that money back. Using our example, I could basically invest that $1,000 into a windshield repair business on the train on the tools, on all the things that I needed, and then charge $100 per chip to try to get 10 customers to then bring my money back into my pocket. All I need is 10 customers to recoup that thousand dollar investment that I initially put into it. Now I use this example because this is what I do every single day and it's sort of easy to understand, but any service-based business, you kind of have to work backwards with it, right? You have to make sure that you're going to make money with the business. You have to understand the theory a lot better. And sometimes you have to kind of pre-sell your services before you even know what you're doing. I wouldn't recommend that, but essentially you want to make sure that you are going to get your investment back. Otherwise you're going to waste a lot of time and you're going to waste some money that you invest into it. So to kind of wrap up this video, I think service-based businesses are definitely going to be the new hot commodity uh, going into the coming years just because of the low barrier of entry. You don't have to invest a lot of money into the business. You don't need a lot of overhead and you can provide your service for a lot of people or businesses or whoever to make a pretty good amount of money for the time that you're investing into it. And this also gives you the ability to have that time freedom that most people are looking for, be able to make more money with the business instead of just going to their nine to five job and kind of being capped at a certain salary and ultimately create the life that you want to live. So I hope understanding what service-based businesses are and the potential that you can, you can have with those businesses helped you out. Hopefully this video gave you some insight and maybe got you thinking going into that new year. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate you all and I will see you guys in the next video.